Hi, I'm Laurie and welcome to your lower body focused workout. What you're going to need today is definitely get near a wall or a tree or something that you can apply pressure on because we have wall sits to start. You are going to need a heavy dumbbell selection when we do a goblet squat. So we're anchoring just one dumbbell. You can go pretty heavy because we're focusing on the lower body. It's a big, bigger muscle group. And then you're gonna need a set of moderate dumbbells or some Romanian deadlifts. That's going to target, again, the glutes and hamstrings, stronger muscle group, but we are going higher volume. In between, we're gonna be adding some cardio to get your heart rate up. You will also need a band, but this band is kind of optional. So if you don't have a band, don't worry about it. We're just using this for the warm up. So if you have a band, we're going to go ahead, kind of apply pressure into the wall. Place the band into a high band position, so right around the quads. Find your wall and let's get right to work. We're going to warm up with some wall sits with abduction. So that's why we have this band around. So go ahead, take a seat into your perfect squat. Make sure your knees are behind the second third big toe. Knees should really be stacked over the ankles. Let's get low. So try to get those quads pretty close to parallel to the ground below. We're not pressing off hands are right here. So from here, make sure the low back as well as pressing into the mat. So slight open, neutral spine. It may turn into a posterior tilt. It may feel like that if you have a lordotic spine. Keep your belly button up and in. Now from here, now it's going to be fun. We have 60 seconds of, uh, of abduction. So drawing the band out, then in. Let's hit it. 60 seconds starts now. Out and in. So we're in a perfect squat probably. You can wiggle your toes, knees, not ever caving in. So we do have squats later on and we're gonna mimic this. Now we're not gonna be able to sit this deep like we're actually sitting in a chair, but we're gonna get pretty close. So a lot of the times people hate squats, they hurt my knees and it's typically because you're only hinging from the knees and not the hips. So when we just hinge from the knees, what happens is our knees typically come over the toes. It applies pressure to the knees and you pretty much can only feel it in the quads as well. So we wanna make sure we're hinging back and down and not just hinging from the knees. So, so that's something to think about later. And I talked so much, we only have 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one, press off of that wall, shift the weight into the left foot. We're coming into some single legged calf raise. If you need to, find your wall from some support. So bring the left heels off the ground, squeeze the calves, control. We have nine, eight, hard squeeze at the top, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead, switch sides, 10 on the right. Hard squeeze, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, both feet on the ground. We have 15, hard squeeze at the top. At your own pace. If you wanna go slower, go slower. We're really trying to almost cramp up those calves. We really wanna make them work right here. Five more, four, three, Two, one, great job. Find your wall. We're coming back to those wall sits. So get nice and low this time. Can we sink it one inch lower? I think we can. Let's get there. Wiggle on into the wall. Low back is pressing in. Okay, good form check, form check. Look at yourself. 60 seconds starts now. Out and in. How are you doing today? Let's just check in with ourselves to uh, get our minds off of this burning sensation. So it's pretty crazy times. You may be quarantined in your house right now. It is St. Patrick's Day, 2020, COVID-19, going crazy. Stay safe out there, y'all. Let's keep ourselves healthy, healthy by continuing to work out. And we can work out and stay strong in the comfort of our own homes. So I know the motivation may be lacking at some times, it does for everyone. Just get past it, just get going, hit play, give yourself this time, and let's make it count. Woo! Come on, 15 seconds, keep pressing, don't lose it. Keep this tempo. 10 seconds. Press. 
Quality over quantity, five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Press off that wall. We're coming into single-sided calf raises. Left side first, 10. Squeeze the calf. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Right side for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, bilateral. This is our last set of calf raises. Squeeze it at the top, squeeze. You got it, come on. We're doing 10 more, let's go. 10 more, nine, eight, seven. Keep pressing into that band, five more, four, and then we're gonna really hold and squeeze. Last two, now hold at the top, big squeeze, hold, balance, find your focal point, hold it here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Wall sits one final time. Let's get right to it. Well, not one final time, maybe. We'll see how I feel. It all depends on the mood. Get low, four and check, low back in, to the wall, knees over the ankles. All right, 60 seconds starts. We're gonna abduct them, bring it in. In three, two, one. 60 seconds starts now. Get low. Make sure we're not doing this number. Taking the pressure off. Let's feel it. Feel the burn. We can do this. We're here for a challenge. What doesn't challenge us won't change us. Should be burning by now. If it's not, you need a thicker resistance band. If you don't have a resistance band, just this act, you can place your hands, use your hands as resistance, or maybe we're just not low enough in your wall sit. Wall sits aren't challenging. Do an ISO squat hold, but this is more challenging for me. Keep it up. 15 seconds, keep this pace. Keep breathing, never hold that breath. 10, eight, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Press off of that wall. Let's go ahead, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle that band off. We need one dumbbell for right now. We have goblet squats followed by a little cardio, some dumbbell swings. So you're going to need to go a little bit heavier with this. I, I don't know your strength level because a wide variety of people are doing this right now. You need to find something challenging at 12 reps for your goblet squat. If on the 12th rep, you could do five more, you need to go heavier as long as you can maintain that mind-muscle connection and as long as you can maintain your form. Keep that in mind. If you could do a ton more reps after it, it's not challenging you enough, you will not change. We wanna challenge yourself. So, anchor that dumbbell to the chest. Feet a little wider than hip distance, heavy in the heels. We have 12 goblet squats, let's go. As we press up, drive the knees out. We don't wanna see that, no, that's not good. Chest is lifted, I'm looking at you, you're looking at me. Drive through the heel, you got it. Five more. Four. Three. Two. One, flip the grip on the dumbbell. So we're grabbing, her, grabbing it like this, just cradling it with our hands. From here, we hinge from the hips, drive it up. So we're maintaining, go ahead, get into it. We're here for 60 seconds. Shoulder level with the dumbbell. I am not feeling this in my shoulders at all. It is all from the glutes and the hamstrings. Hinging from the hips, pressing the glutes back, back. Now, if this isn't, if you can't do a hip hinge, what you can also do is bring it to a squat but I prefer the hip hinge swing. Keep it up, give you a different view. Big exhale on the top. Squeeze the glutes, but keep a neutral spine. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, hold it up. Goblet squats for 12. 
It's going right into it. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Going right back into those kettlebell swings. So flip the grip. We're hinging from the hips. So flat back, no rounding forward. We drive with the glutes and the hamstrings. Let's go, 60 seconds. Starts now. Heavy in the heels, we squeeze the glutes at the top, but noticing I'm not really putting any pressure on my lumbar spine, I'm keeping my low back neutral while squeezing the glutes. If you have a tendency to do this air hump at the top, that will lead to some issues in the long run. So make sure the low back is neutral and you're not humping the air. Keep this breath. Halfway there. I'll give you another view. Come on, we're in this together, 15 seconds. Ten, eight, six, four, two, last one. Great job, grab that dumbbell, back to those goblet squats for 12, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. We're done with that heavier weight selection for now but you may want to use that. What's coming your way? Romanian deadlifts. We're going to start with a B stance. Same concept with the hip hinge swing, but now we're letting the dumbbells go down. So we want to drive the hips back. Big stretch in the glutes and hamstrings, and then drive it on up. If you need to bend the knees a little bit, that's okay, but we want to minimize any pressure in the low back. The low back's gonna do some work, but we wanna minimize that as much as possible. We wanna feel the glutes and the hamstrings did most of the work. So if you feel it in your low back, get rid of the weights, do it body weight, and then add as we can get that mind-muscle connection. So grab your set of weights. First things first, we're coming to a B stance. What is that? Heavy in one foot, 80% of the weight is in the left heel. Right foot is back, using it as a kickstand, 20% in that leg. Square off the hips. Dumbbells are going to graze the body, or my hands are going to graze the body on the way down. So we're keeping a nice neutral back as we travel down, hips go back. So think about pressing the hips back, back, back. Find your in range motion. Mine is right below the knee, and then drive it up. We have 11 more, 11. Big stretch in the hamstrings and glutes right here. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, last four, three, two, and one. Switch sides, right foot forward, left foot back. Square off the hips, 12 on the right side. We have 12. Dumbbells in tight, what I see all the time is that number in tight. Drive the booty back. Practice that motion, it's fun. Six more, five, four, three, last two, come on. Here we go, last one. We're going right into a bilateral RDL. So just both feet, same concept, 60 seconds, let's go. Drive it up, drive it up. So this time, equal distance, or excuse me, equal weight in both heels. Down, bring it up. Your gaze should be on the ground. If you're looking up, you're hinging your neck. So I like to look down at my mat, just at the top of the mat, maybe slightly ahead, a couple feet in front of my own feet. And I'm just repping it out. My hamstrings and glutes are getting a continuous burn. We're halfway through. Stay strong, come on. I know it's burning, we got it. 15 seconds. Keep that form, keep the connection. 
dumbbells are going along for the ride. They are not controlling the movement. The hips are, the lower body is. Two more. Last one, awesome job, shake it out. We're gonna get right into that for round two. Left foot forward, right foot back. This one's gonna be a little bit more challenging. We're starting to feel fatigued. Keep the mind-muscle connection, keep the form. If you need to, drop the weight. Kickstand, B-stance, heavy in that left heel. We go for 12. 11. Take it slow on the way down. You can go slower than me, that's okay. That's actually better. <laughs> You're getting more muscle recruitment the slower you go on the way down. But this is high volume, so I don't want to take it too slow on you on that eccentric phase. This is challenging as is. Four and more. Three, two, and one. Switch legs, right foot forward, left foot back, square off the hips, B stance, heavy in the right heel, we go. For 12, nine, eight, seven, Six, you got it. Come on, five more. Four, press the hips back. Last two, last one, bilateral stance. We go for 60 seconds, let's go. Drive it up. Keep constant tension in the hamstrings and glutes. Make sure you are not thrusting the hips forward. You can squeeze the glutes at the top, but look where I'm squeezing and where my hips are. My back is, I'm not even coming up all the way because I have a tendency to thrust the hips forward. That's why I overstate that too much because I've been a victim to that, that thrust, putting pressure on the lumbar spine. You could squeeze the glutes, but squeeze it right here to start. Oh my goodness, come on. We have 25 seconds. We're in this together. Come on. This is challenging your body and your mind, push through it. 10 more seconds, let's do five more reps. Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job, shake it out. We're coming into reverse lunges. We're holding onto those weights, grounding through the left heel, the left foot, but the heel has the majority of the weight. You can always widen the base to make it more attainable. We're stepping the right leg back, hinging from the knees, hinging from the knees. Now we're feeling this along the quads, the hamstrings, and the glutes. If you wanna make this more glute focused, you can lean forward. Sit the quads a little bit. I'm into it today. Let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, step it back, release the weights in front, static lunge, 10, nine, eight, drive through the heel, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold bottom, little pulses, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, shift the upper body forward, grab those weights before stepping the right foot in, we switch it, other side for 10, reverse lunges. Nine, right foot forward, eight, seven, six, barely tap the toe at the top, five, you can always reduce the range of motion if we need to. Last three, last two, one more. Now we're gonna hold it all the way back, Release the weights. We hold the feet. We just go straight up, straight down. Static lunge. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold at the bottom. Little pulses. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, step the left foot up. Turn to me, I'm turning to you. We have squat jumps. This is our cardio. We're doing this for 60 seconds. We're low in the squat, powering through, resetting. Your option is a squat to a calf raise. Pick your poison. 60 seconds, let's do some work. Land soft, reset. It's not about how many reps you can get in, 
but how many quality reps you can get in. Reset after each one. Power, reset. Power through, reset. Come on, we got this. This is challenging and it's burning. Don't let your form be compromised just because you're a little bit tired. We have 30 seconds, so we're halfway through. My glass is half full. What about yours? Power through. Come on, we can do this. We have 15 seconds. Can we get six more reps in? Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job. Woo, take a breath. Grab a drink of water if you have one. Mine's in the other room. I'm SOL. So just start to re, re, just slow the breath down. All right, we're getting right into it. We are, we are going to do that circuit again. Reverse lunge, set a cold, pulse. If you need to adjust your weights, adjust them. When you pick up your dumbbells, make sure you are lose, using the lower body and not the low back to pick it up. So just like a deadlift, we can bend the knees a little bit, but we're pressing through the legs to bring it up. Weights just follow. All right, here we go. Left foot grounds forward, reverse lunges. The breath has slowed down a little bit. Let's get to it. 10 reverse lunges on the left for 10, nine. Keep constant tension in that left leg. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now we hold, we are keeping the weights this time as we pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now we hold and squeeze, eight, six, four, three, two. Step it in, right side, right foot forward, left foot goes back for 10, nine, eight, seven, we got it, six, five, four, three, two, hold it back, little pulses, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold, 10, eight, six, four, three, two, step it in, place those dumbbells off to the side. Now we're going to do speed skater lunges. So move that other weight if it's in your way. We are traveling the mat. How far can you jump side to side, keeping the hip points square? I'll show you what it looks like first. We're right here. We jump all the way to the side. Keep the back foot up. If you need to, you can tap it down. Hip points square, back foot up. Your option, as well as tapping, is to bring it to a curtsy lunge. Okay, we have 60 seconds. Speed skater lunges. Let's make a count. Feel like a mom saying this. Well, I am a mom. Make sure your dumbbells are out of the way. Whew. Got it? <laughs> we don't need any visits to anywhere right now. We need to stay safe. Let's stay safe. Make sure everything is out of your way. Oh my goodness, come on. We can do this together. Power through, reset. Halfway through. Keep this tempo, keep this pace, keep this form. We are nearing the end. Come on. You can use the arms, it helps. Power through, land soft. 10 seconds. Whatever side you started on, you have to end on the other side. So I'm doing one more each side and we're done. Okay, almost. Wall sits. Go back to it. This time, no band. We're just holding. Get right in. We'll recover. 60 second hold. You're low. Don't cheat yourself. You're in this position now. 60 seconds. Press the low back in now. See if we can sink it a little bit lower. 
maybe. Let's go. Let's go a couple inches below parallel. Your option, keep it up. If you want a challenge, we're sinking it low. Oh, okay. Oh, we got this. Slow the breath down. Am I saying that to you or me? I'm saying it to both. My breath's getting away from me. Inhale. Exhale. When we inhale, make sure you're filling up the rib cage so you're not breathing up and down. You're breathing 360 into the rib cage. The entire rib cage fills up and then you should get that nice TVA activation as well. All right, we have 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Come on. After this hold, we're going to end 30 seconds of a squat to a calf raise. And then your final 30 seconds will be jump squats. So everyone's taking the option to start. Everyone's going to either end with that, or if you want to advance one final time, jump squats, we're holding five, four, three, two. We're up. All right, squats to a calf raise, final exercise. 30 seconds doing this. Then if we can, we're advancing one final time. All right, you can bring the heels and toes out if that feels better. Here we go. 30 seconds, squeeze the calves. Squeeze it up. Squeeze the calves at the top. That's your main focus right now. Shift it back to the heels on the way down. 10 seconds. And then everyone's going to jump squats. If you need to, you're hanging out right here. Here we go in three, two, jump squats, 60 seconds. Excuse me, 30 seconds, that's it. Unless you wanna go for 60, we can do that. You want to? You want to? I just had a brilliant idea. Let's end with 60 seconds of these jump squats. We're making every rep count. We're not just repping them out with no mind muscle connection. We're doing it with control. Yeah, we're going for 60. We can do it today. Reset. Halfway there, 30 more seconds. Power through, reset. I know it's burning, stay with me. It's burning for me too. 15 seconds. Last 10 seconds, make every rep perfect. Five seconds, two more reps, two more reps. One more rep. Everyone holds that bottom. Hold, get low, one inch lower. Iso squat hold. This is it. I promise this time, 20 seconds. Woo. Here we go, 15. Hold it still, sink one inch lower. 10, eight, six, five, get lower, four, Three, two, oh, one. Oh, press off through those legs. Grab a drink of water. Slow the breath down. Oh, I, need a, I need a water. Someone send me some water. Okay, first let's get those calves. Um, we're gonna skip the calves, but if you want a calf race, in case you're doing it near a nice wall, you know, do that. Dorsi flex at the ankle, really sink into it. Let's just hit the hamstrings right now. So bring it on down, hinging from the hips. Oh. And I have a whole list of stretching yoga videos. If you find that you want a little bit more, take it. All right, let's bring the right foot in to the booty, feeling it in that right quad. Oh. And then when you're ready, we're gonna take a nice figure four stretch. We have this wall as support. So crossing the right ankle over the left quad, send this right knee down towards the earth, and then we start to hinge from the hips. Feeling a nice stretch along the right glute. And release, left foot goes forward, dorsiflex, and hinge, feeling it in the hamstring. How was that, y'all? All right, lower body day, check. Awesome work. Let's turn it around, left heel and towards the glute. <laughs> Pull it on in, feel a nice stretch along the left quad and along the left front of your hip flexor. Oh, that was tough. <laughs> okay, let's bring it to a figure four stretch. Send it back and down. So that kind of mimics a 
a leg day. I don't typically do that much cardio. I give myself longer breaks when I'm at the gym. If I, you know, that's, that's the truth. I give myself longer breaks, but that mimics kind of what I do at the gym when I do spike my heart rate up in between, in between sets. So that, this is, hope y'all enjoyed that. Okay, that's it. That's all I got for you. Let me know what you wanna see. I'm trying to pump out as many videos as I can right now, especially while we're all confined kind of to our homes with this social distancing. So I wanna keep y'all healthy and safe. And I just wanna provide, like, provide happiness for you. This is a great stress relief. So if you wanna see anything, now's the time to comment. Let me know what you wanna see and I can probably make it happen, all right? May have to get my kids in it though, because uh, they're uh, like 10 feet away right now. So have a wonderful day. Let me know what you wanna see and uh, stay safe out there.